This the this the new this the new nineties. This the new nineties. Welcome to the new episode, My Trash Opinions. Um, I got pretty good feedback from my The Saga Continues review, so I decided to review the other CD that came in the mail the same day as that, and that would be Master Killer, Loyalty is Royalty. Um, everyone knows, well, people that know me personally know Inspector Deck, probably my favorite MC of all time. Uh, Master Killer is a close second as far as members of Wu-Tang Clan go. I'm a huge Master Killer fan. No Set Date was amazing. Made in Brooklyn was amazing. Even the, the Mansa Moonsa or whatever. Um, the album of Halo was dope. The songs that I, I actually bought the digital and just cut all of it out except for the songs of Master Killer in it and just made a little kill Master Killer EP out of it. Um, Selling My Soul I was not a fan of. I didn't really like Selling My Soul. And he was talking about loyalty is royalty, the concept of it and the idea of it for like years. And um, it finally came out and it's pretty much everything that I was hoping for. Let me go through it. Um, skipping the intro and outro because it's just composed music like, um, you know, Chinese, like Chinese folk music type things. Return of the Mass to Kill. Perfect opening track. Um, I don't know who Young Dudas is, but he killed it. Um, did a little verse in the hook, he was good. Kappa came in at the end, which made it like a woo banger. The fucking beat was the beat was dope. Um, PF Cotton on the beat, he's definitely he's underrated, but you know, he should be up there with like Pete Rock and Lark Professor. Like he's one of the masters of New York City boom bap hip hop beats. He's one of the one of the one of the expert master level producers out there. Easy Mo B. People like that. He should be up there with them. Loyalty is Royalty. I don't even know if it's the same song, to be honest. The one that already was released because as soon as I heard that beat, I immediately skipped it. So I have no idea if it's even the old song or not. It probably is. So, you know, it's, it's super old. So, just skipped right past that. Therapy. The first single... The video was shot in Meth Lab Studio. Shout out to Meth Lab Studio. Um, Heather and Ant, that's my people. Um, yeah, it was dope. I like it. It was it was a perfect beat for, for Master Killer style. Um, like sample-y, but not too boring. It was, you know, it worked. Obviously having uh, Meth and Red on it, or Red and Meth, whichever, helped a lot, you know. They both did their thing. Um, it worked really good as a single. OG's Told Me. It might be one of my... Uh, probably top three favorite songs on the album. Killed it. Um, good to see Mo Rock getting some credit. I've been checking out Mo Rock since he got signed to Woo Music Group back in the day. So shout out to him. Um, I gotta look at the track list here. Uh, Boy Backs. I don't know who that is, but he actually set it off really nice. He did a good job. Don't know who that is. Produced by the legend Dame Grease. Which is funny that Dame Grease has a beat on here. And there's a song on the album that's, that reminds me of old Rough Riders. Not like 98 Rough Riders, but like 2003 Rough Riders. And it's not produced by Dane Grease, which I think is hilarious. Wise Words by Riz is just Riz talking over some piano. And, um, it's way too, it's way longer than it should be. He just, he says, like, the same thing in different ways, like, three times. Trouble. Trouble's cool. Um, the sample was cool. A, a different producer probably would have killed it. Um... Master Killer's story is dope. I really like the track. And, um, the sample is dope. 
His verses are dope. It's a it's a cool song. I do listen to it. Skit. Produced by True Master. I swear I've heard this beat and I've heard this verse before and I can't place it. I even went back at and checked out the bootleg of the True Master album, um, Master Craftsman, to see if it was one of the two songs that Master Killer was on on that, and I couldn't find it. So I don't know if I heard it before, but it sounds really familiar. I wish it was a whole song. Probably the best beat on the album, and Master Killer's perfect on it, and then it just stops 55 seconds into it, and it, it should have been a whole song. This shit was dope. It should have been a whole song. And um, if anyone knows if there is a whole song and he just took a snippet and put it on his album, please let me know. Because if there is a whole True Master and Master Killer song over that beat with this verse, I want to hear it. So if anyone knows if that's a real song, please inbox me and let me know. Down With Me, um, obviously listen, hearing Sean Price is always good. I wouldn't say it's Sean Price's style of beat, but then again, the producer that made it is not one of my favorite producers at all. Um, it's it's cool. I listen to it when it's on just because Sean Price is in it, Master Killer does good. Um, not a big fan of the beat. Tiger and Mantis, other than Mantis being spelled wrong, because like I said in my soccer continuous thing, I get OCD about things. If things are spelled wrong to like stylize it, it's fine. But it was it was it was spelled like chalice, but it's mantis. It's I don't know why mantis is spelled wrong. But the actual song is a woo banger. You know? As much as I love Raekwon, Ghost, and Meth, when they did Woo Massacre. I wish that Jizza, Master Killer, and Inspector Deck did an album together. Like Silverbacks, Tiger and Mantis, those three fit so good together. And this is no different. It's a woo banger, it's really dope. Um, definitely one of the best songs on the album. Real People. He has Sean Price and Prodigy on his album. Rest in peace to both of them. Um... I never noticed, I don't think I've ever heard Prodigy and Master Killer on a song before. I'm not sure if they've done a song before, I'll have to go check after. But they sound like a team on this. They sound perfect together. Crooked Eye, or King Crooked as he is now, he actually comes in the last verse and actually kills it. I'm glad he went last though, because the, the vibe and the chemistry that Master Killer and Prodigy have on the song is so perfect. Um, I'm not even sure um, King Crooked even fits on the song, but he did kill it, and, you know, obviously he's a dope lyricist, so it's cool that he's on it, but Master Killer and um, Prodigy just had wonderful chemistry, that shit was dope. Flex With Me, um, who produced this? Oh, Master Killer and P.F. Cotton, that doesn't, uh, Master Killer doesn't produce enough for me to know his style, it didn't. Sound like a PF Cotton beat, that's why I had to check who produced it. If I'm in the mood, it's it's cool if I'm in the mood, you know. If I'm in the mood for some Return of the Master Kill, Tiger and Mantis shit, I might skip it. But if I'm driving, vibing out, um, I'll, I'll let it play. I listen to it still, you know. It's a cool song for what it is. Um, he's got a video out for it, so hopefully it does good because people gravitate towards songs like that. And so, hopefully Master Killer gets some good plays on that, and uh, gets some views, and gets a nice check off it, you know what I mean? Calculated, produced by Cruz, don't know who that is, but this is a song that sounds like Rough Riders, like, straight street shit, like, cocaine punchlines, this shit is fucking sick. Raw Stacks and Nick Guns, they both kill it on some, you know... New York, Philly, mixtape, punchline, drug dealing, punchline heavy shit. They both kill it. Master Killer comes in. He's got fucking the Robert Ori line and everything. He fits right into it. Great versatility. The the hook is catchy. I don't even know what he's mumbling, but the shit is catchy as fuck. The beat is fucking hard. 
And, um, I love this shit. I bump, you know, I gotta turn the volume up every time it's on. This shit is sick. Perfect ending to the album. And then he's got Noodles 1 and Noodles 2 and then the outro. I don't think I've ever heard Noodles 1, but I've heard Noodles 2. It was the B-side of Things Just Ain't the Same, which dropped in, like, 2012. So, it's, it's super old to me. So, um... I figured I would skip it, but with the Noodles 1 before it, telling the rest of the story that goes with Noodles 2, it was dope. So, um, even though Noodles 2 is mad old and I've had it for years, I still, I still listen to it. It's not bad. Um, to be honest, it's so old though, that I think he should have had the outro and then Noodles 1 and 2 as bonus tracks. I think it would have worked a lot better instead of just sounding old. It just seems, you know... Seems weird. And Calculated, such a good ending song that I think that would have worked better is just putting them on as a bonus track or not even on it at all. Um, overall, it was dope. Um, I don't know if it's... It's not better than No Said Date. And it's way better than Selling My Soul. So it's somewhere in the middle with Made in Brooklyn. Um... I'd have to listen to both of them together and compare them to figure out which one was actually better. So it was, you know, it's a good album. Um, I suggest you buy it. Um, it is worth the money, especially if you're a Master Killer fan. This is the album that Master Killer fans, at least in my trash opinion, this is the album that Master Killer fans were waiting for. Instead of getting Selling My Soul. We were waiting for this. This is the album we were waiting for. Die Hard Master Killer fans. I know you're out there. This is the album for us. This is the album that we've been waiting for. But, the fuck do I know? I don't fucking know.